the analogy that we use all the time with the teachers is um, what you used to do would be ferry your kids across the river. You're on my boat, I'm going to take you, and here's what time you have to leave, and here's how we're going to get to the other side. In the new model, we really think about building a bridge. We're putting structures in place so that you can go anytime you're ready to go and choose how you want to get across. I think our generation, our kids have been brought up, we do so much for them. And then are we really creating responsible adults? What can they do for themselves and what are they interested in learning? Having the Chromebooks when we do projects, they have that tool that they basically have grown up having in their hands to explore and to find answers to questions and kind of delve into what they're interested in. I don't want to stand out there, I say, and preach to them. I try to teach them to be independent. No one wants anybody to stand up there and just teach, teach, teach. The same way that teachers like to grab the resources that are comfortable to them, students are the same way. Some students prefer the text, some students prefer the audio, some prefer the digital lessons. I thought, well boy, wouldn't it be great if I could take all those resources and stick them in one place and deliver them to the kid and they could decide how they wanted to learn. That's exactly what Safari Montage did for me. It allowed me to take all these different resources that cater to different learning strategies and different teaching strategies and put them in one location so that when I deliver that content out, kids can choose. Kids can decide how they want to learn. I think one of the things that they are learning is how they learn. And I think that's something that maybe they never had to think about before because everything was just you walk in the classroom, you do whatever the teacher tells you to do, and then that's it for the day, you walk out. And now when I'm saying, well, you need to decide, are you going to read more information about this to show me that you've really learned it? Should you watch another video about it? Maybe you should join another group who's working on the same thing that you are. Like These are decisions that they have to now start making for themselves. They have to take a much more active role in their learning and more responsibility for their learning. The amount of time it takes them to learn the skills has dramatically improved. For instance, last year whenever we were learning the unit circle, it probably took a good two weeks before the kids could really understand what was happening and now we've done it in just a couple of class periods. I have quantitative data to back up the fact that my students this year are outperforming my students last year on the exact same information. It's a whole IB grade level which could mean the difference between passing their IB exams and getting college credit or not. The one thing that I think accounts for the increase in scores is that the students can no longer hide anymore. They have to be active learners and engaged in the learning process. When these students write essays for me, which is the basis of what they're being tested on in a couple of months, I'm seeing things in these essays that we don't necessarily talk about in class. I'm seeing content coming out that they're finding on their own. They're getting and pulling out the key information, which to me is very heartening. This has been the most fulfilling year of teaching that I've ever had. It's given me a different kind of relationship with them and I now have a better insight into where each and every student is throughout the entire unit. I can't even explain how that makes me feel as a teacher because that's what I've always wanted is to be able to have every single student engaged, giving them a choice in what they're going to do. This has been a great year. It's been the best year.